Hi guys, today I'll be teaching you how to make this adorable crab on your rainbow loom. So what you will need are your loom in this dagger configuration, your hook, I recommend using a metal hook for this because everything in this charm is capped except for the, for the legs right here. Um, and I got my hook from Michaels. Um, you will also need two beads for the eyes and if you don't have beads you can use two black bands. Um, you will need uh, two colors. If you want to make it two colors, you will need two colors or one color for the body and the claws and another color for the legs on the side. You will also need a scissor to cut the little point right here, the little ends. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you will also need a C-clip to C-clip the mouth at the back and one black band. <laughs> And first of all, I want to credit my Looms Creations for the extensions on the side and also for the technique on how to thread a rubber band through a bead. So yeah, thank you. Um, so let's get started by making the claws. And everything in this charm is capped. So we're going to go down three times in the middle. So just like this. Now we're going to go up. And I forgot to mention, first we're going to make one side of the claw and then another side of the claw. So we're going to go down right here and then to the middle. And now we're going to cap this four times. And we're going to loop just up to this part right here. So we're going to get our hook, push back this capping bands, grab the bottom band and loom to the side. Now we're going to push back these bands, grab the bottom band, the capping band, and loom up. Now we're going to grab this band and um, loop it to the middle. So now we're going to take only this part of the loom, so just like this, and we're going to make the other side. So from this peg to this peg, now from this peg to this peg, and from this peg to this peg. So just like this, and now we're going to cap this four times. And we're going to reach down, grab the bottom band, and loop it to the side. Now grab this band, loom up, grab this other band, and loom to the middle. So just like this, now we can loom up. So we're going to reach down, grab the bottom band, and loom up. So just like this, now you can take it off the loom. And you will have something like this. So you will need to make another one of the claws. So we're going to go down three times. with capping bands. Now we're going to go up go down and then to the middle. Now we're going to cap this four times And 
then we're going to loom this part. So reach down, grab the bottom band and loom it to the side. Reach down, grab the bottom one and loom up. Now to the middle. And take off only this part and let's make the other side. So we're going to go up Now we're going to go down and to the middle. Now we're going to cap this four times. And we're going to loom up. So reach down, grab the bottom band and loom it to the side. Loom up to the middle and then we're going to loom up so push back these bands and I think uh oh I grabbed the wrong band alright so I'm just going to cut this band and replace it because it's really stuck there. Alright, so I'm going to double it. Loop it through all these. and loom up. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to loom up and you can take it off the loom. Now you can put this aside and we're going to make the eyes. So for the eyes, you can use dental floss to thread, if you're using pony beads, to thread the band. Or you can use a broken rubber band. So I like to use a broken rubber band. <laughs> I find it easier. Alright, so you're going to grab your bead, thread it through the band, like this. Now grab the color of your crab, double it. And now we're going to thread this through the bead again. So I like to grab on this and then thread it through the bead. So just like this. Now we're going to put this in our hook. So we're going to pull, pull here. Uh oh, <laughs> these bands are really slippery. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on my loom, and I just lost it. All right, so let's do this again. So we're going to thread our bead. Now double a band. Now we're going to thread this part again through the bead. And I'm going to place this on my loom one side and take the rubber band off and then place the other side on my loom. Now I'm going to do the other one. So thread the bead. Now we're going to double a band.
Now we're going to thread the bead again, thread the band through the bead again. I'm going to place this part on my loom just to secure it and place the other part on my loom. All right, so I did it. <laughs> so if you're doing um, bands for the eyes, you're going to go down twice with capping bands. Oops. And now you're going to grab a black band and wrap it around four times. And you will loom up. So push back this capping band and loom up. So you will have something like this and you will have to make another one. But today I'm using beads, so since we already have the eyes right here, we're going to go down just once. So once. And these are two separate eyes. So this, that's one eye and that's the other eye. And we're going, I'm going to transfer these over there. So I'm going to place these over here, the point at the end right here. Same thing for the other eye. So just like this, now I'm just going to loom up. So push back that cap and band and loom up. And just like that, now we're going to take it off our loom. And that's one eye, and that's the other eye. So now let's start by making the actual crab. <laughs> All right, so so still capping bands from this peg to this peg, and from this peg to this peg. And we're going to go down three times on each side. Now we're going to go right here to the middle and repeat on the other side. Now we're going to go down in the middle So just like this Now we're going to place our extensions So we're going to go down three times so you will have two layers like this this is the one I just placed and two more times so just like this you have two layers now so that's the extension and that's the one the body the middle of the body so now same thing on the other side. And now we're going to place our capping bands. So same thing, triangle bands. 
across these three pegs. So just like this. And now we're going to loom the extensions. So we're going to push back this capping band and grab the top band and loom up. Same thing here, push back the capping band, grab the top band and loom up. Push back the capping band, grab the top band and loom up. So same thing on the other side, we're going to push back this capping band, grab the top band and loom up. And I think, great, oopsie, uh-oh, <laughs> I just lost my band, alright, there you go, now push back this capping band, grab the top band and loom up, push back this capping band, grab the top band and loom up. So just like this, now we're going to pull the extensions on the side. So I'm going to use my other hook so you guys don't get distracted by the claws and the eyes. Alright, so I'm going to grab this band, so the horizontal band and the extension band. And limit to the side. Same thing here, limit to the, I mean, place it to the side. So just like this, and I'm going to turn my loom around, grab the extension band and the capping band and pull it to the side, extension band and capping band and pull it to the side. So you should have something like this, and now we're going to place the eyes and the claws. So the two claws will go on these two pegs right here. Actually, I'm going to place the eyes first. Alright, so the eyes will go in the two middle ones. These bands are very slippery. <laughs> Alright, so that's where you place the eyes and the claws on these two. So that's the setup for our crab, and we're going to place a capping band right here four times. So just like this, and now we're going to loom up. So we're going to push back the capping band. Grab the top band and loom up. Now I'm just going to loom up over here. So just like this. Now we're going to grab the top band on the bottom right here and loom it to the side. I'm going to do the other one, loom it to the side. Now I'm going to push back this band, grab the bottom band and loom up, push back these bands, grab the bottom one and loom up, 
I'm sorry for the background noise. <laughs> now I'm going to push back these bands, grab the bottom one and loom up. Now I'm going to grab this band and loom it to the middle. Now same thing here, push back these bands, grab the, the bottom one and loom up. Make sure the eyes are facing outwards like this. Push back these bands, grab the bottom one and loom up. Push back these bands, grab the bottom one and loom up. Now I'm going to push back these bands, grab the bottom one and loom it to the middle. And we're almost done. <laughs> so grab two bands, slide it through here, and we're going to make a slip knot. Oops. And pull tight. Now you can take it off the loom. So you will have something like this with a slip knot on the side and we can hide it. So just pick a random spot and hide your slip knot on the back. So I'm going to do it again. Grab a random spot and just slide my I'm going, to, I'm going to do it one more time, grab a random spot, and slide my slip knot. Through there. And that's a long slip knot. <laughs> I'm just going to do it one more time. Alright, so you should have something like this. Now we're going to add the mouth and the legs on the side. So you will need six bands for the legs. So we're just going to make a slip knots on the side. So just grab two bands on the side, make a slip knot. Just like this. Grab another two bands on the side. Slide it through there and make a slip knot. One more time. So you should have something like this. Now we're going to tie knots on the end right here. So just a simple knot. Tie a knot on the end. And pull. Now tie another knot. And pull. And one more knot. So you should have something like this and you can cut the ends with your scissor. So I'm just going to cut the ends right here 
like that and now you can do it on the other side so I just grabbed the capping band and make three slip knots Now I'm going to make knots on the ends right here. So just like this, I'm going to cut the ends. Grab your scissor and just like this and you can adjust it however you want it. Now I'm going to add the mouth. So for the mouth we're just going to stick your hook through the middle right here. I wanted to get it through there through that band but alright so now grab your black band, slide it through there. Now slide now. Slide your hook. This is so hard to do on camera. <laughs> All right, so And now uh, slide your other side of the black band through there. And now uh, I'm just, it stays like this, but I like to put a C clip just to be safe. So I'm just going to grab both ends and C clip at the back. And if your slip knot is like mine, <laughs> I just grab both ends and put them on top of my C clip like this. And then just push it down. Alright, so we're done with our little crab. <laughs> so I hope you guys like my tutorial. I know I'm kind of clumsy sometimes, but <laughs> I hope you guys find it um, helpful. So, um, don't forget to share your creations on Instagram. My Instagram is Gabby Looms. It will be in the description below. below. And hashtag your creations to Gabby Looms because I love to see them. So, thank you for watching. Bye.